As we come to the close of this tutorial, let's talk about a few things that will be helpful moving forward. First, if you've been following along, you may want to start over and change some of the things that we did together. Near the bottom of the README in the repo are the commands to clean up the environment. You can run some or all of them, but order is important because of the dependency connections between them. After you run the cleanup, the environment will be pretty much clean. The only thing left will be the Docker images that have been downloaded or built. Those will continue to stay around and you can update them by calling the docker build commands that we use through this session. The next thing to mention is that I demonstrated using individual images for each of the grouper components. But an alternative approach would be to put all of the grouper component changes into a single organizational image and then specify the role as a command when creating the service. You'd specify the command as UI, WS, or daemon, just like we did when we initialized the database and added myself as admin, and I specified GSH as the command. I can't tell you which approach is best. I imagine that you'll probably find if you start with the single image deployment, you'll likely end up using a multi-image deployment as your deployment becomes more and more customized. So Docker secrets and configs are immutable. If you want to change the information in one of them, you have to create a new secret, then use the docker service update command to remove the old secret and add the newly created secret. This is to support being able to use docker service rollback to roll back your configuration changes as well as roll back your image changes. The tier grouper image is great for DevOps. Using tools like Jenkins, you can provide continuous integration and continuous delivery. Updates to your image automatically get built into a new image and deployed to your environment. You can test and then deploy in a systematic, repeatable way all the way to production. Finally, I've included a Docker stack file in the project repo that you can use to quickly deploy and update your grouper services. This file is perfect for local development and testing, as well as working with updating your test and production environment, especially if you aren't using a DevOps methodology. Keep an eye on this file, as I'll be updating it with settings that I think are beneficial for real-world use. And in the future, I'll also include a Kubernetes deployment file. Unicon is here to help you succeed. If you have questions about deploying the tier grouper image or any of the tier Docker images, Unicon can help you. If you need help getting your DevOps pipeline in place and begin taking advantage of consistent deployments and upgrades, Unicon can help you with that too. Just reach out to us through your normal channels or via unicon.net.